Hello, my name is Matt Max. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about the binary system. And the reason is that in the next episode, we will actually build a circuit that can add two binary numbers. And to understand how that actually works, we have to understand binary first. We have to understand it sooner or later anyway, so why not do it now? So the binary system has two different digits, either one or zero. Well, you know that. But what does a number like 101101 one, one, one actually mean? Well, so binary system is based on powers of two. Okay? And basically, what this is, is a sum of powers of two. Okay? So a sum is something like 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 0. That is the sum of powers of 2. Now, in this case, that would equal 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So that would equal 11. Right? Another example. 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 2. That is 16 plus 4 equals 20. Okay, that is the sum of powers of 2. As it turns out, every number, every number, let me say this again, every number can be written down this way. Every number can be written down with powers of 2. It is that simple. And that is exactly what binary does. So, what does a number like 101101 mean? The so ones and the zeros tell you which powers of 2 to add. Okay? So, let's say with a binary number like 1. O, one, one, O. What a computer does, or what we have to do to understand it, basically, we have to write all the powers of 2 underneath this binary number. So, this is 2 to the power of 0, this is 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5. So now we, now we look, okay, 2 to the power of 2, do we add this? The answer is no, because we have a 0. 2 to the power of 1, do we add this? The answer is yes, because we have a 1. Do we add 2 to the power of 2? Yes, because there is a 1. Do we add 2 to the power of 3? No, because we have a 0. Yes, we add this. No, we do not add this. So this number equals... 2 to the power of 4, because of this, plus 2 to the power of 2, because of this, plus 2 to the power of 1, because of this. Alright? This one tells us that we have to add 2 to the power of 1, this one tells us we have to add 2 to the power of 2, and so on. So this is... Um, that's 4, that's 8, that's 16. 16 plus 4 plus 2 equals 22. That is how binary works. One more example. 1, 1, 0, oh, 1, 1. That is 2 to the power of 1 plus, uh, sorry, 2 to the power of 0 plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 4. That is 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1, that's 24, that's 26, that's 27. That is binary. However, there is more to it. And now it's going, getting to be a little bit difficult because there are two systems, signed and unsigned. Let me show you the difference. So, unsigned. If you have an 8-bit number, let's say 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, that's 8 bits. 
that would be 255. You can calculate that if you want. In signed, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, equals 0. And 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 equals minus 1. Why is that? You cannot have a sign like minus in binary because binary is just 1 and 0. So what sign does is that if you have 8 bit, those 7 bits are used to count upwards and the first bit tells you whether or not the number is positive or negative. So 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 is 127 because that right here is 127. And the next bigger number, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, is minus 127. And 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is minus 126. From then on, it counts upwards. All right? So unsigned versus signed. All right, so now I could show you how to do operations like addition, multiplication, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's really quite easy. And the first thing I want to tell you is that you can realize every mathematical operation with addition only. Okay, how? Well, A plus B equals C. Well, that's addition, all right. But what about A times B equals C? How can you do this with addition? Well, that's also a plus a plus a plus a b times. Multiplication is just multiple additions, one after the other. Subtraction is just addition. with a negative number. So what you're doing here is you just turn B around. So in binary, in signed binary, if you have a number like 0001 and you want to subtract this number, you just, so if you have like 0110 minus 0001, if you wanted to calculate this, that's the same as 0110 plus 1001. And division is just multiple subtractions after each other. So every single mathematical operation can be done with addition alone. So I hope this is enough for you to understand the basics of binary. Basically, that's all we need to go ahead and build something called a half adder that lets us add to numbers and by allowing us to add to numbers it can also subtract multiply and uh, do division with two binary numbers my name is Matt max thanks for watching this episode although it was a pretty short one see you next time